A comedian who says he was racially profiled at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport continues to speak out tonight. Eric Andre tweeted today that he believes Clayton County police are using the war on drugs as an excuse to harass people of color. The actor says he was detained yesterday while boarding his flight. But as Fox 5's Brian Hill explains, the department stands behind the officer's actions. Clayton County police say Andre was never detained or put in handcuffs. They tell us there was a pleasant conversation between them. However, Andre says he wants the officers involved held accountable. I'm not Walter White from Breaking Bad. In an interview with TMZ, the 38-year-old actor says two plainclothes police officers asked him if he was transporting methamphetamines. The stand-up comic says he was the only person detained for a random search as he was attempting to board his flight. I'm filming in Charleston and I'm connecting in Atlanta to go home. And they were like, can we search your bag? And I was like, no, okay, so you they, can't. They That's did. against the Constitution. Immediately after Wednesday's encounter, Andre took to Twitter to address the issue. In a series of tweets, he said he was racially profiled, harassed, his rights were violated, and that he was the only person of color in line at the time. Did an apology do it for you? Yeah, or so, like reprimand the, the, the police that are clearly racially profiled. I mean in a Thursday afternoon news conference, Clayton County police said Andre was not racially profiled and agreed to talk with police. They tell us this type of interaction happens often as part of their officer's duties. Mr. Andre did give our officers consent to search his belongings, but instead the officers chose not to do so. Police said the encounter only lasted about two to three minutes. Mr. Andre was cordial, personable, and pleasant to speak with. According to our records, this was the first and only interaction. But the actor claims that statement is full of misinformation and he wouldn't allow officers to search his bags. I said no because I know my rights. On Thursday, he continued to tweet about the issue, saying he hopes the police department stops their racial profiling tactics at the airport and creating more lies about what happened. Multiple law enforcement agencies work at Hartsville Jackson. Airport officials say they plan to review policy procedures in the coming days. Both police and airport officials tell us there's no footage of the encounter. Brian Hill, Fox 5 News.